We are crap. Yes, the referee helped us. Yes, we were lucky, but I don't care. Hold that, Hassan. Um, Daniel, do you think you were crap today, according to this first man? Do you think you were crap? I don't agree with this opinion. Like, I've just heard a whole stream. I've just come on when we've just won an emphatic game. We're still unbeaten. We're still unbeaten. We're second in the Premier League, and all I've heard is VAR talk. Not one game have I heard credit given to Spurs. It's all been excuses throughout the whole season. When we were in the beginning, it was like, oh, you didn't play a single team. It's only Man United. Then we went to Arsenal and we and we, and we drew them. Oh, no, but Arsenal got injuries. Now we play Liverpool. Oh, no, the referee was blind. It's always going to be an excuse with Tottenham. And I'm just realising now that no fan is ever going to give us credit. So it's might as well we just show up and keep playing our football because we're never going to get credit, we're gonna get credit from any other team. It is at this point, like everybody's complaining about the VAR decisions, the referee going mad. Sure, the offsides was offsides, but I love how nobody's talking about how we should have had a penalty in the second half for the Adoji foul. We stuck out his foot and tripped Adoji in the box and didn't even see the ball. No, nobody's talking about that one being a red card. I understand how Liverpool fans are hard done by it with the offsides. It, it wasn't offsides, factual. Mm. But it's not a robbery. One bad decision is not a robbery. Let's say they give that goal, you score. Mm. We go on the rest of the game and we try to score even more. If we're losing, we're going to play a different type of football if we're going to be losing than if it was no-no and we score and then we get scored on again. It's a different game. It's not just Liverpool scoring. It's 2-2. Two -two. It's that simple. That's not how football works. That is not how football works. So, for me, I just hear a lot of people making excuses on why Tottenham are not good and we just continue to silence people. And what, we, what, yeah, uh, that, I want to ask a question on that. I, I get that. One, one of the questions I've written down, and I knew we would be talking about the decisions before we got round to this, and I want to throw this to Orchie to begin with. I want to speak to the rest of the Spurs fans. Like, how good are Tottenham? And are you going to sustain this? Because you're second in the league. Um, as far as I, you know, I know, yes, you've had a bit of fortune that's favoured you today. But everybody will win. A, Man United won a game against Wolves with a bad refereeing decision. Everyone's going to get them this year. Are you the real deal? Um, it's hard to tell, Terry, because, well, first and foremost, we actually end play, we play with the 10 men. Um, when Richarlison starts the game. I think, first and foremost, <laughs> he's just so ineffective, as he showed again today. I Listen, he might be going through a bad time, and I feel sorry for the guy, fair enough. But then, you know, they should maybe just put an arm around him and just kind of let him, you know, get over his problems right now. Because, to me, when Richarlison starts, he shouldn't even be... I mean, all right, he came on at Sheffield United and he changed, like, he, he got us the goal, he scored a goal and he created the goal. But... That was an exception. That's that, that wasn't the rule. So for me, whilst we've only got Richarlison, um, you know, we're playing with 10 men anyway. Um, in the first half, though, if you think of the Madison chance that Allison saved, the um, Son chance, in the first half, I think we could have been ahead as well. We've had some fantastic chances. Allison made some incredible saves. Yeah. Um, and so, but fair enough, in the second half, yeah, we found it hard to break uh, Liverpool down because... We still, I don't think we still, obviously we're right at the start of a rebuild and we still need to get more players in. As I said to you last week when we uh, drew with Arsenal, I think we definitely, in this window, we should have got another centre-back uh, to cover, you know, after we sold that Sanchez and we should have got another striker, some kind of, you know, goal scorer to, because I don't think Richarlison's it. Even though, yes, it, you know, we might get some players in January, we might get some players next summer, but we needed, we needed those... I, mean, I wanted another two players to help Ange with this rebuild. So looking at what we have, I think, and then Brennan Johnson goes and gets injured last week. All right, it, apparently it's not too bad. He'll be back maybe next week, maybe in a couple of weeks' time. But still, he's he's a brand new player. You can't expect him to be, you know, I mean, right, he's a, a Premier League player. But anyway, that's besides the point. I just want to quickly touch on the um, red card situation. Uh, fair enough. I do understand Liverpool fans feel hard done by. And I do agree that, yeah, that offside goal looked like a goal. And, you know, that should have stood. Um, but in terms of, you know, uh, this whole balancing thing, Spurs, as some people have said, have had some horrendous decisions go against us plenty of times. Last season, um, and even not so going too far behind. What about last weekend when Nikitea, uh, Enketeo, sorry, could have broken Vicario's leg? Everybody, everybody said Enketia should have been sent off. And then we, you know, and that was really, really early on in the game. We could have gone and won the Arsenal game. We could have been two points better off right now. So I don't, I do not agree with this people, you know, crying about at the end of the day. And I think it was Rack who mentioned me by name earlier. And I put in the chat, 
the what I meant that it's simple is the fact that fair enough, it might have been an accident, his foot might have, but the challenge itself was reckless. And when it's reckless and dangerous, and you know, the photo that you showed, he could have broken um Bisuma's leg. So it was to me, it was a dangerous kind of tackle, it, mm. it looked bad, and so I don't, you know, I, this is why I feel the red card was it's a red card all day long for me. Rolls reverse. Let's be. Let's just be honest. Rolls reverse. If Basuma does the same tackle and goes over and catches Curtis Jones, Liverpool fans are asking for a red card. It's that simple. If you say you're not, you're lying. You know exactly. you are. If it happens the other way around, it's as simple as that. It's just a red. It's a red. I don't know, but you know me, Alan. I would have said it was harsh. I would have said it was harsh. No, I would have said it was that's a red card, card, bro. It's a red card. No, no, no. Let me. I said, the, I said the Malagusta was harsh. Let's, 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 let's let Harry talk for a second, please, guys. Listen, He's in the box. Let, let's be real. Let's be real. If he would have broken his leg, and he would have gone fucked off the pitch, would you have said that was a red? Was it a red card if he broken his leg? Are you are you asking? Oh, are you doing um, some? I'm asking friends? everyone here. Everyone but here. The if, fans. If my aunt had, if my aunt had balls, she'd be my uncle. But she don't, so she's my. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. No, but it's not. That's not good enough. Stop. 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 If Basuma did the same thing, I would have said it's harsh. It's a harsh one, but yeah. it's, a it's a red card. card bro. Malo it's a red had card. the same thing done to him. It's consistent. They've been consistent with it. I think it's a stupid. I think it's a stupid rule, in my opinion. I think it's one of them rules where the referees don't actually know if they play football, because I guarantee you those kind of challenges happen all the time, even on grassroots level. You shouldn't because it starts up at the leg. That's yeah. it. It's it's a that's hard. Yeah. For me, for me, I see it as a, look, I've said it already. I, I saw it as a red. Um, even when Casemiro got his last year, it was one of those ones where it's almost it's harsh because he. The, the, I mean, the thing is with most. Even when I remember, remember when Eduardo's leg got broke by I want to say his name was something Taylor. He didn't try and break his leg. Like players generally, they don't try and break each other's legs. Like they try and win the ball. They just make mistakes, and that's all that happened here. Uh, Cameron here says on a level, Liverpool low block, um, 10 men probably tougher than playing with 11. Spurs title uh, charge incoming, Ted Lasso setting, Spurs yes, fan Cam. leave. Well, what Cameron says here. No. Uh, Adogi uh, should have been sent off. He was on a yellow card and gestured to the ref to book uh, Jossa double standards. <laughs> Again, I didn't see that, but if it happened, then, then you've got a point. A cup game was replayed under Wenger during the 99. Yeah, it was because they 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 should that was a little different. They should have passed the ball back to Sheffield United. Steve Bruce was manager, and they played they 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 they, they took the throw themselves and scored from it. Um, and I think it was a couple of players were fairly new and they didn't understand the custom. I think that's what it went down as, if I remember rightly. But yeah, very rarely. I kind of only say it as a little flippantly because everyone likes to pretend we all do this that our clubs are the best and most honourable and we're the most honest and lovely. But in yet cold hard light of day, we're all ruthless bastards and no one's going to replay a game. I fucking so. <laughs> <laughs> um, all I'm seeing here um, is we are sorry. All I am seeing is we were pathetic. Uh, we could not beat nine a uh, nine man team, and we and we played Spursy. Hate is a real um, is a real word uh, is real my word. Uh, we won. We beat Liverpool. Own goal or not, all cry about VAR. Don't blame us. We played our game and won. Yeah, look, listen. Every if it was a reverse that. Liverpool fans might say things were harsh, but they would still be finishishing tonight putting matches of the day on and saying oi, oi. Exactly. Um, we'd all be doing that we know we know we would uh, if the tackle is not reckless and it breaks the opponent's leg it's a bloody accident At end of the day you can't break someone's leg without it being reckless yeah. you can't or excessive like I don't remember like there was, uh, Antonio Valencia's leg got broke that's because the guy fell down and landed on him. If you go towards a player and you hit their leg and break it, it's excessive force. Breaking someone, by definition, it's excessive force. Do you know, do you know what I'm saying? Like, it is, yeah. it is what it is. Um, you, you can't get does, away does from it. Think, does everybody think that Inketia should have been sent off last week? Against, yes, you know, absolutely. Yeah, that, that's factual. Absolutely. Like, nobody could disagree. Because of intent. And he didn't get sent off. And there exactly. you go. That's, that's it's double that, standards that, for these Liverpool fans, bro. Like, yeah, but one minute, one minute. Let's no, 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 no. Wait, no, 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 one sec, one sec. Oliver Skipton got sent off last season then. Let me, yeah, we can, bro, we can talk about last season. Double standards, yeah? I remember that stream very well. Bro, 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 listen. 
Step in your TARDIS, right. go back to last season and then come back. That's cool. But let's yeah. just talk about now. Oliver Skip should have got sent off. Ste yeah, go Oliver Skip should have got sent off because they booted him in the head. Yeah, Oliver Skip should have got sent off because he did the exact same thing. Bro, listen, Step in your TARDIS then. Go back to last season. Go back to last season, bro. We're talking about today, bro. I was on the street with Terry, with Sam, and I've been saying... I was 21 years old last season. I'm 22 now. I'm about think... to be 23, bro. What, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You're trying to worse. Bro, you're trying to worse. 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 Can I jump in? Let me jump in. You're trying to worse. You're trying to worse. You're trying to worse. You're trying to worse. You're it was well, all of us. Why is it not working? Let's Hang on. Let's end the red card thing. Let's end the red card thing. Go on. Look. Go on, Josh. At the end of the day, there's tons of decisions you lot have had. Ram, I know you'll be honest with this, isn't it? Yeah. Because we're we're pretty honest. I said in the chat straight away it was onside for me. Do you know what I mean? Liverpool have been the better team. That's all fine. But I just want to be a bit positive about my team for a second, yeah. No one would have expected four points from these two games. Whether it's a deserved three points tonight or whatever. Yeah. It is. It's um, also, I got my I, I know my team can perform well. I've seen us in the second half against United. I've seen us against Arsenal go toe to toe. And I think that we should have won that game. Honestly, if you look at the, you know, the stats and all that sort of stuff and just look at the chance. I know they had that Jesus chance, but whatever. I think we should have won the game when I when I analyze it. And I've seen us dispatch everyone else. These are two of our hardest games of the season. We never win against Arsenal, uh, like, away. And we don't beat Liverpool. It doesn't matter where it is. Do you know what I mean? To be, to be fair, most of our good performances have actually come at Anfield. So I'm looking forward to that one. But um, we're going to get robbed. With the, the, rest, the, the rest of the season, I, I'm not really, like... Obviously, it's going to be scary to go to the top six away and stuff like that. But... These are literally our two hardest fixtures of the whole season historically. Do you know what I mean? Like, we've got one left at Anfield. And apart from that, I'm quite happy. I'm confident that we can go into a game and give it. And, you, and yes, we didn't deserve the points today. But I tell you what, it's usually Spurs that are throwing it away, getting exactly. stupid red cards, exactly. doing stupid things. Mm. Going down, do you know what I mean? We went down to nine men against Bournemouth um, uh, a few seasons ago. Like, that's usually a Spurs thing. So it's, it's, it's good to actually see another big six club do that instead of us. Yeah, did you know what? what, what where, I would, where, where I would back Spurs Can on I... this is that up until that own goal, everybody was ready to say Spurs bottled it versus nine men. Everybody was ready. To, and now yeah. listen, the own goal, they're unfortunate, but you only score own goals. And typically you only can see penalties when you're being put under un, uh, un, uncompromising pressure. How many own goals happen when there's no pressure? How many penalties are conceded when a team isn't stretched or panicking? The vast majority are because of that. And listen, Allison was the reason that Spurs weren't 2-1, 3-1, maybe 4-1 up in this game, if, if we're being absolutely honest. So listen, Spurs did, Liverpool did themselves proud today with the way they responded to these setbacks. Some decisions were right, some decisions were wrong. And I think that the team will, it won't feel like a loss to a certain degree. There's a men, again, the league gunners will say, no, a loss is a loss and a win is a win. No, there, sport is, again, someone who's been an athlete, someone who's competed for his country. Some losses don't feel like losses based on circumstance. And unless you've played sport at a good level, you may not understand that. And it's quite a difficult thing to explain. So Liverpool will take a lot of heart, a lot of soul, good mentality from this. But I also think Spurs will as well. Because the game, twice now this season, where there's been two games, in my opinion, looked beyond you, Sheffield United and today, and you came out as winners. And yes, winning games in the last minute is not sustainable, but it builds a mentality, it builds character, it builds a we know we can win mentality. Mm -hmm. I watched my team at the moment. I went into that my brother was watching uh, Leighton Orient in the other room. He didn't go away to watch him play Fleetwood today, part time on my brother. Um, in fairness, it's a, it's a long drive. And Said, said to him, he was about 65 minutes anyway. Now United getting on. I said, We're losing. He said, Yeah, but you'll win. No, nah, we lost. I can just tell when watching my team if we believe. When I watch Spurs right now, you look like you can win every game you're in. And that's just a, it's hard to explain why. And it isn't just because the football's pretty. Because some teams play ugly football, but they look like they can always win. Che uh, Joe says Chelsea never looked pretty, but you always knew they could win a game. And Spurs are developing that. And listen, I'm going to say it. 
Even Birds are starting to scare me, bro. That's what I'm going to say. Like, Terry, 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 Terry,